Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kaya for any of you that are new. In today's video, I'm reviewing the Outre Converted Cap Unit in the style Rosy Waves and I have it in the color two. So if you guys aren't familiar with their Converted Cap units, what they are, it's just like, it's a half wig. It's well, I would more so you say like a three fourths wig because you can pull it up pretty far and then have some of your leave out on it but the converted caps have the ability to be styled in so many different ways so this unit comes in a bunch of other colors if you guys are not feeling the two shade but i got it in two today because i want it to match specifically to my hair color and the converted caps also lay super flat so you don't have any puffing or any um so you don't have any puffing or any height in your hair so it'll just lay flat and look very natural so what i'm going to do is show you guys three different styles with this unit today first things first i am going to get my leave out straight and ready to go and then i will get these three styles shown for you all today going to do a middle part side part and then pull some up into a half up and half down do all right so I'm just getting the front part of my hair pulled out of the way and then I'm going to put on the converted cap so I put it back probably about four inches back on my head it is very secure it also has um, this drawstring that you can pull in the back to make the wig tighter so it'll feel more snug and secure you know so you won't feel like it's sliding but those combs and that drawstring really really help you guys I promise this wig does not feel like it's gonna slide at all now I actually um, really don't straighten my hair that often it's usually just braided or pulled back but for the most part I do not do that much straightening to my hair so um, this is like a process for me to try to get it as straight as I can so that it blends in with the wig. Um, I just like get afraid to add too much heat to my hair. So I feel like I don't use enough, which is why it takes forever for me to get it straight enough to blend to the wig. But once I get everything nice and straightened out and curled, I'm just going to comb that out until it blends onto the wig. Of course, comb some back so that it hides the wig cap and you won't see any of that and it could just all look blended. So that's what it looks like with one side done. And then I'm going to show you guys what the whole thing looks like um, once we get that finished. So I think the bust down the middle look is really, really cute with this wig. You can also just go with the all pulled back, you know, if you want to just comb your hair back. Do not judge <laughs> that I still have the tag on this dress. I just didn't take it off, but it's good. But yeah, I think it's really cute with the bust down the middle. So now we're going to move on to a side part um, and see what that looks like. I basically kept out the same amount of hair. I just added a parting space over to the side. And I did shift the wig over some, making that middle comb kind of come over to the side because I wanted it to fall with a little bit of layer look to it. So it would have more of a bang on the side. Um, and I put this on my right side with the bang, but if you guys prefer left, of course, just shift it over to the left and you can have a left part 
I mean, a left bang. Because this was a left part, but right bang. And I'm just going to go back over my hair where it got a little bit thick again. Um, and straighten that out so that way it blends pretty well with my hair. The good thing about this converted cap wig is that it does have a tad bit of texture to it so I feel like it's a little bit easier to blend my hair with this wig now the converted cap wig isn't super yakky but it does have that semi yakky feel so I feel like if you were to straighten your hair out it would blend pretty well with the wig And then of course add those little finishing touches, add some curl to my hair, a little bit of edge control, everything to just get it flat, make it blend, make it look good. And this is what the final look looks like once we get that side part working. I think the side part was actually my top fave of all three looks that I tried today with this wig. It was just giving something to me. It was giving like super cute, fun, free, easy going. I really like that style. So the last one I'm going to show you guys is, of course, the pulled up, half up, half down do. I always like to try those styles with the converted cap wigs because I think that they're perfectly made for that. You know, you can have a little bit of your hair out in the front as well as pull some of that wig up into your hair to make it into a ponytail and then have the remainder laying down and hanging down in the back. So you have that cute look. I feel like, you know, the half up, half down looks are always a go to in my book. You can never go wrong with those um, once you get your hair nice and blended and and gelled down of course it's a look it's a go so this one was definitely probably my second fave but you guys let me know which one you like of all three styles that i showed you all today you can definitely create more styles with this wig that's what the converter cap is all about it lays flat and it's super duper versatile so if you guys are interested, check out my link in my description bar below, and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching.